بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الأمين. Dear students, today we have get ready book number six for sixth grade. Would you please open your books? Get ready book number six and we are the sixth grade. Let's start. بسم الله. Okay, today inshallah we are going to have unit six lesson two. Open your books on page thirty-eight, and we are going to continue talking about uh, past actions that happened to our grandfathers and grandmothers. Okay, so today, by the end of the lesson, inshallah, you will be able to talk about grandfathers and grandmothers. Of course, they are past, and you are going to talk about actions in the past. Okay, so this is our lesson today. Would you please open your books and write down with me? the exercises, answers that, you are, you will, that we are going to do together. So this is Unit 6, Lesson 2, page 38. All right, let's start with activity number one. Here it says to you, listen, read, and tick. Can you see this picture? Do you remember the girl, which her name was uh, the, the, ma the grandfather Majid? Okay, this is his wife and here these are his two daughters we are going to listen to the audio and then we are going to answer choosing the correct sentences that go with the audio for example the photo is of sarah's mother and her parents or the photo is of sarah's father and her parents number two fatma's father was called yasser or Fatma's father was called Majid. So Fatma is one of these two girls. He moved to a small village or he moved to a city. He worked as a fisherman, as you remember from the last lesson, or he worked as a teacher. He died three years ago or he died a long time ago. Let's listen and decide we to choose which of Unit these sentences. Unit six, lesson two. Activity 1. Listen, read, and tick. Wow! That's an old photo. Who is it? Well, this... Scar here is my mother. Your mother? Yes. And this is my aunt, Maha. So, these are their mother and father? Yes, my grandparents. His name was Majid, the same as your brother. Yes, my grandfather lived a long time ago in a small village. What did he do? He worked as a fisherman, but then he moved to the city. Is he alive now? No. He died three years ago. My mother was very unhappy and she cried a lot. Okay, so let's listen again and decide. Unit the six, sentences. lesson two, activity one. Listen, read and tick. Wow, that's an old photo. Who is It? Well, this girl here is my mother. Your mother? Yes. And this is my aunt, Maha. So, these are their mother and father? Yes, my grandparents. His name was Majid, the same as your brother. Yes. My grandfather lived a long time ago in a small village. What did he do? He worked as a fisherman, but then he moved to the city. Is he alive now? No, he died three years ago. My mother was very unhappy and she cried a lot. Okay, so I wish you write down the answers. 
to tick the answers because I can't do it here. The photo of Sarah's mother and her parents, of course, not Sarah's father. And the father was called, the grandfather was called Majid. He moved to a small village. He worked as a fisherman and he died three years ago. Okay, and remember what we said about the past simple? He worked as a fisherman. This is a simple sentence uh, uh, in the past simple tense. Here the verb worked, subject, verb, okay? And the verb here, we changed the verb to the past by adding the ed. When we change the verb by adding the ed, this is called a regular verb, okay? So today we are going to have some regular verbs after listening and reading the sentences in this lesson, okay? So this is a simple sentence, a simple English sentence written in a past form. He worked as a fisherman. Worked is the verb, and the verb here, not in the pace form. We added the ed because we are talking about an action in the past. Okay, let's move. <coughs> here again, don't forget the past form. Here we have the exercise. We have some verbs in between brackets. We want to change the sentences into past. Let's start with number one, Majid, and the verb live. This is talking about the grandfather. So you can write your own sentences talking about your grandfathers and grandmothers. Okay, let's start with number one, Majid. How can I change it? This is a regular verb. I add the ed, and we have the e already in the verb. So we just add the D. <coughs> he helped his father. I want to change it into the past. So what do I do? Here we don't have the E. So I add the ED. He and the verb want, yes, we add the ED. Wanted. He wanted to move to the city. When his daughter was born, he <coughs> moved. We have the E at the end of the verb. So just we add the D. He started, very good. We add the ed because it is a regular verb. We just, we don't change the base form. We just add the ed or the d. He die, die becomes died three years ago. Here we have a verb with y. When we have consonant and y, we change the y into e, okay? We change the y to e and we add the d. So we change the, the Y to I and we add the ED. When we have, like for example, the verb play, vowel and consonant, the Y consonant, so we don't change the, uh, the Y to E. All right, so here we have cried. Can you write these words down, please? So lived, helped, wanted, moved, started, died, cried, all these are called regular verbs in the past. In the past. Okay, so this is the past simple tense. Okay, let's go to these. Number three, exercise number three, listen, read and say. We're going to read the verbs as we said before in the past. Listen, please. Unit six, lesson two, activity three. Listen read and say cried cried lived lived moved moved helped helped worked worked, started, started, wanted, wanted. Okay, so here we have, where did you, where did your father live, grandfather live, where did, because the a question is about the past. He lived in a small village. You can answer, practice these questions with your mother. You can ask your mother about her father and then your friends or your sisters and brothers can ask about your grandfather. Where did your grandfather live? What did he do? 
he was a fisherman, this is his job. What about your grandfather, Helen? Where did he live? So this is a conversation you can practice with your sisters and brothers at home or you with your friends. Now here, be careful when you write the past form of some of the regular verbs, as I told you. When you have the E at the end of the verb, you just add the D to become lived. When you have no E at the end, you add the ED. When you have Y and before the Y a consonant, harf sakin, so you change it to, you change the Y into I and then you add the ED. But when you have a vowel, harf mutaharik, A, E, I, okay, like play, uh, you don't change it, you just add the ED. Okay, so this is so important. You have to practice yourself writing the verbs correctly. Okay. Let's go to the phonics part. This is on page 39. Page 39. Okay, here we have the s, the z, the is sound. Let's listen. Unit 6, Lesson 2. Activity 5A. Phonics. Look, listen, and say. S. 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 Books. 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 Z. 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 Numbers. 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 Is. 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 Houses. 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 Very good. Let's move to 5B. So now you can say them. Books, numbers, houses. Okay, listen. Unit 6. Lesson 2. Activity 5B. Phonics. Listen and circle the sound. 1. Olives. 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 2. Messages, messages, messages. Three, carpets, carpets, carpets. Okay, so number one, olives. This one, the middle one, olives. Messages, is, is. Okay, the third one, carpets with the s sound. Okay, let's try to read the sentence. The boys, the boys, the boys are watching cats and foxes z on television. Okay. Again, the boys z sound z are watching cats the s s sound and foxes z is on television. So olives with the z sound, you can circle the sound. Messages is and carpets with s sound. Okay? Okay. Okay, this is the workbook, page 80. You can do it. I told you before to do the page uh, 90, uh, uh, 79. Now this is page 80. Here it says you have to finish the sentences with these verbs and you change the verbs into the past. For example, born a long time ago and she in a small village, she lived. Live becomes lived in a small village. She to be a teacher, she wanted to be a teacher. So you please finish the sentences, this paragraph talking about the grandmother of this family. Uh, and you change the verbs into the past. Now let's do this. Right, my grandmother B, what is the verb here, the past of the verb 
is, the verb to be is, was. Born a long time ago, she or he, the grandmother, she, lived in, what about your grandmother, in a village or in a city, maybe in a city or in a village. You can write it down about your grandmother. She worked, worked in the past, worked, regular verb, as what did she, how, what, what was her work? What did she do in the past? Was she a teacher? A mother only, so she worked as a teacher, um, anything else, doctor, she or he, died or whatever. You can finish the sentence using some of the verbs that can help you, and then you can write about your grandmother or your grandfather. Okay, it was nice doing this with you. Have a nice day. Thank you, students. Don't forget to do the homework.